What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the video today, you feel me? Uh, Y'all know why we here, man. You see mm -hmm. the uh, title of the video, man, and it's time to talk about it. Yeah. Um, if things in here, okay, right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of go through uh, the tracks um, that came out. Um, mm -hmm. I already have them pulled up here. Um, and we're just going to talk about what's been going on this past week. I will say this has been dope for hip hop. Yep. Um, it's been an interesting week. I think this probably will go down as one of the greatest bouts um, in rap beef. Yeah. Factual. Like most tracks, most quickness on back to backs. I mean, yep. the, the material with the, with the T was, even though that got a little messy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man, let's just talk about it real quick. And then uh, let's see where we will rank uh, the winners uh, based off the tracks. If, if it ends right here, right now, as of Monday, we're recording this the day after Drake dropped uh, his last track, Heart Part 6. So mm -hmm. let's talk about it. Uh, well, first and foremost, like you were saying, it, this works for just hip hop fans, you yeah. know what I'm saying? In the sense of, I don't think I've seen this much excitement and talk about uh, a rap beef in on this magnitude in quite some time. It's been a minute Facts. since they've had pretty much everybody like an uproar. You know what I'm saying? You got people that don't normally check out um music like that reacting to it you know and giving their opinion on it so this is like not just a small niche thing this is like a very huge thing everyone's mm -hmm. talking about it everyone's giving their opinion on it and it's a good state to see some of the top mcs arguably top one or two however you want to put it out right now going at it yeah and it's one of those things where we will look back on this and be like, damn, this was a crazy time. Mm -hmm. Like being able to say, damn, this nigga Kendrick dropped. I think this is the most Kendrick dropped in years. Outside of an album, <laughs> this is the most Kendrick has dropped in years. Like back to and, back at that too. Yeah, and, and to see Drake have to be battle tested once again and, and ready for the smoke and what came with it. This was this was pretty entertaining, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I will also say if I, I just had to choose because I've I've been thinking about this since last night after we heard Drake's response. Slept on it, man. He went to sleep on yeah, it. Yeah, nah. You know, I, I've had my conversation, seen people talk about it or whatnot. Um, this is being someone that's a big Drake fan, been listening to Drake for a very long time since Right, right after he left the grassy type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, right. and I've been a fan of Kendrick as well for some time. And I must say, if I had to choose, if it ended right now, I'm gonna give Kendrick the edge here. I, mm -hmm. I think Kendrick overall, and it's it's not a a huge landslide like some people are saying, you know, and that's their opinions. Like but sweet. I don't. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's nothing like that. I think they both had some great tracks. They both had some great points. Um, they both was getting disrespectful on these tracks. But the fact that Kendrick with the, um, the um, what was it, Meet the Grams or whatnot? Yeah. Not, um, yeah, it was. Um, Meet the Grams? Which one are you talking about? Yeah, Meet the Grams. Yeah, Meet the Grams. Yeah, with Where that just track. just kind of talking to the family, going, yeah, picking them apart track. one by one. Seeing Kendrick in that mode, which we never really have seen him, especially like this, like really get disrespectful. That was a that was a sight to see. Like, and, and the same thing with Drake with uh, what was it? Meet the family. Family matters. Uh, family matters. I said meet yeah. the family. Um, same with Drake. You want everybody to meet. <laughs> yeah, everybody to meet at this point. But the same with Drake with how this you know how disrespectful he got with that track, and it was a banger. Like those. To see that and that happening within the span of 10, 20 minutes of each other is mind blowing for hip hop because you don't really see that. And the fact that Kendrick dropped a banger, yeah, which is a thing that a lot of people have like criticized. Us. Yeah, have criticized mm -hmm. um, Kendrick for with the not like us and, and not being able to drop a banger consistently. This is a banger. And, and that was his back to back. <laughs> that was his back to back. Um, and in, in my opinion, just, just off of what we 
the, the responses that Kendrick had, the, the aggressiveness that he had, the mm -hmm. disrespect, and he ends it off with a bop like he did. I would give the slight edge to that boy Kung Fu King. Yeah, despite, yeah. despite, and before I finish, despite all the little tea and the stuff that we yeah, heard we gonna, about. We're going to get into that after. Our, but uh, I, I will give the slight edge to Kung Fu Kenny because I personally, I knew he was a great rapper and I knew this was going to be a good battle, but I was, I did not expect this nigga to really be on some, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I was here for it. So. No, nah, facts. I mean, I totally agree with everything you said, man. Uh, sound like me just now, you know, and my mm -hmm. thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Um, definitely feel like i would give the slight edge to kendrick um yeah. uh to, i like the hard part six yeah you know what I'm saying? um Love i feel it. like if drake was to have dropped a another song right after that with a with a different pace yeah yeah, it, yeah yeah <clears throat> i think it would be more of something to talk about game mm -hmm. seven would really just to me end in a tie um, yeah because it's just too many back and forth too many lyrical uh bars going on on both sides and <laughs> ultimately the truth depending on whose is more truthful would be the one that kind of would be the haymaker and that would just been up to for speculation but mm -hmm. um yeah no slight edge to uh kendrick on this one man uh he came out and did his thing um pretty much surprised of the the angles you know what i'm saying yeah. like he, he pretty much out angled he was dropping uh right after drake dropped family matters which was a a very dope track to me it was one it became one of my you know most jammed uh, mm -hmm. tracks out of the whole disc not you know not trying to be biased but then he kind of killed that when he dropped 616 in la he kind of put a little shadow over it we didn't even give family matters the moment oh, no, that to was breathe. uh that was uh meet the oh meet the grams yeah, yeah my bad my bad so, yeah, yeah, yeah he dropped uh meet the grams excuse me right after uh and drake killed, dropped family matters and just kind of a lot of that momentum yeah because it was one of them you know what I'm saying? Was. i think that was one of them ones um and then you know, with Drake taking a couple days and then Kendrick coming right back with Not Like Us and then dropped a banger. Well, actually, that was just one day because he dropped Not Like Us and one then, day later. And then dropped, bro, I'm talking about my boy was just really in that mug. He's all right, here. Huh, huh, yeah. huh. Like, I feel like, he was in, like huh. yeah, that's yeah, exactly think, what he did. I think he was just pushing them all out just like that, man. And uh, mm -hmm. we just have to appreciate what was going on um, for hip hop at this moment. But yeah. uh, if it ended right now, uh, like I was saying, we would give the edge um, to Kendrick, um, yeah. but it's, it's not a landslide. It, you can, no. you know, it's really either way, just depending on how you feel. But I think Kendrick, the way he was dropping, you know, it made Drake seem like he was trying to defend more claims. Yeah. And, uh, I just wish he would have just ignored and just start, you know, just outright. You know, I like Hard Part Six. I'm not gonna hold you, but to me, yeah. that's one of them earlier tracks you drop without the claims being, you know, put in there. Mm -hmm. But I do like the fact that he was spitting back, responding, but it was just more responding, not just punching. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So yeah, I really wanted more punches in there, even though he was still swinging hard as hell. Like yeah, it's really one of them tracks that I can really vibe out to. Um, yeah. Heard it earlier again today. Uh, listen to all of them again to make sure I'm listening. I'm hearing what I thought I heard from the previous night before. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, slight edge to him. But I will say too, mm -hmm. this is where things kind of give Kendrick the edge. Um, mm -hmm. I think social media kind of ruined the experience for oh. this moment. Like I personally, well, this like, version of social media. Yeah, this had, this version. You, we've this, had you know different versions media with uh, when the whole. If you guys remember the Meek and Drake, yeah, beef, that was a thing. But it was a different time then so. but this ver this version of social media really helped give kendrick the edge and i don't care what you guys say right now you can probably disagree or agree that's the problem people can't disagree with what you're saying mm -hmm. without somebody else feeling the the, the notion to want to attack you for mm -hmm. who you may like as an artist <clears throat> or what you might just like jamming to yeah you feel right. me like if i say i like i write uh, like a drake a drake record you can't then come back at me and say oh well you support somebody who and I'm just like, well, wait a minute. Like now we're we're going outside of the, the bars and the beef. And we're, mm -hmm. of course, we're hearing the tea, but now we don't know who to believe. But now we're saying we're going to believe one side over the other because, oh, this he was on stage with this girl. That's not enough, bro, to try to call somebody a, a, a pet. Like yeah. it's, 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 it's enough. It's not enough. You, you can me? you can have the you can have the allegations or the suspicions of maybe grooming because, yes, Drake was obviously yeah. older in that clip, and I think he was at his show, whatever the case. Cool. And that's not, not saying that's cool in itself. But in a but, different time period. Yeah. You know what at, I'm saying? Like, 
look, it's one of those things where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I can understand why someone would look at that funny. Yeah. And there has been some other instances. And like this is hey yo. Yeah, I mean, man's out here wearing the nail polish. It ain't for me, but you know what I'm saying? And we've even talked about that. Like, hey, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, yo, you know, and there's been some other instances instances as well of just some of the stuff Drake has said and have done. So I'm not going to just sit up here and give this, my, this guy a complete pass. But I'm also not about to just really just roll with the, the fact of, oh, he's on that type of time. He He's a sexual predator or whatever. I'm like, I'm not... I'm not doing that because I know the severity of what comes with accusing somebody of that. Yeah. And the same thing with Drake. Drake is excusing Kendrick of being a woman beater. You know what I'm saying? And that's oh, yeah, a very yeah. serious that's a very serious thing to be accused of as well. So they but were pe- both- But people, and this is the wild thing about that, people's, are, people's biases are so strong that they're just overlooking that part. Like, what if that has any truth to it? Like, do people start to ignore the fact of those claims? Because it's people that y'all never let that go of. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's some people that had situations that then grew from it and apologized about it, and you still drag them down every chance you get about something mm-hmm. that they used to do. Yeah. I know a lot of people who like, oh, I can't never support this person because they, like, damn, this nigga didn't apologize, went through all kinds of situations and, you know, said this wasn't supposed to happen and wasn't meant and you will you will demonize a person for their fault at their lowest yeah. point, yeah. but then now for some reason we could just breeze over it because oh I like this artist though. But that's the thing like Ross saying like Drake do wild shit we call the wild shit out. You feel me? But I don't know neither one of these artists personally enough yeah. to really be like nah that nigga Drake is telling the truth. I seen Kendrick and, swing and, like, and that's that's the problem. I think like you were saying this this era of social media with this particular beef. People already had their preconceived notions. Yeah, and that's of what who was gonna up. win, who was gonna lose, who's better and who's not. That's fine, cool. But you can't sit up here and say you're objectively not biased, and then start to pile on. Well, because Kendrick said it, it had to be true. Or because Drake said it, it had to be true. No, if y'all know anything about hip hop and beef, niggas lie. Niggas mm-hmm. lie all the time on tracks to sell the drama, to mm-hmm. sell the idea or the image of who they are or what they really do. <clears throat> like, come on. Yeah. That's and, and, that's part of hip hop. But that's unfortunately the thing. or fortunately, however you want to look at it. But that's the thing, bro. People, you know, people don't realize like we don't get um a response like that from Drake if it wasn't that if he didn't feel like he had to respond to it. Cause you don't yeah. know what kind of information like people hitting them up just socially boys would just it didn't matter what he said if drake came out with another bop oh but you ignoring the fact if yeah he came with the hard part six oh you sound like you're giving up this is like bro it, it was damn if he did damn if he didn't damn and it's did. like kendrick gets the edge just simply off of that trolling between other artists i mean he got rick ross metro it took nigga to the avengers to, to come and try to take this nigga down mm-hmm. and y'all can't lie and deny that like you got rick ross every time uh kendrick drop anything he throwing parties and shit, and they banging that shit. They they purposely showing clips of people booing every time Drake drops something. I mean, niggas are playing both diss tracks. They play push ups and then they play played uh like that at the time. And I'm just like, bro, of course like that gonna get the bump because nigga that shit was yeah. You feel me? And yeah. push ups was more like a so it's like to me it just looked like a calculated move to just bring Drake down because it wasn't a fair fight. It didn't. It didn't. It doesn't come off as a fair fight when you look at the whole thing. And then Kendrick playing on the 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 ped thing, just like Drake was alluding to him being mm-hmm. a uh, beating on his wife. But then at the same time, people are like, "Well, this nigga Kendrick never responded to those allegations. Yep. Why is he in New York? You know, like certain things that was being said on tracks made sense, but mm-hmm. we were so blinded by the oh, you're just a ped that we wasn't even trying to give none of Jersey bars a chance." And niggas just had a, you know, it's, it's cool. And th- but that doesn't take away from what Kendrick did. So I'm not trying no, to say not that whatsoever. All. But it's just, I'm just saying that people's biases ruined the fun of what we really could have gotten out of this from mm-hmm. both camps. And yeah. niggas just wanted to be one sided. And you know, now we have people um, on social media, even towards us, you know, mm-hmm. saying like, you know, since y'all want to support a, a, a pedo, I can't actively you know, support any creators that's going to support a pedo. And this is where I can break that down very, very simply because this is when we get into uh, the 
the moral high ground that people like to have in social media with trendy ass topics. If you want to have that moral stance, if you if you've been subscribed to us for years and you've been watching us for years, you know we've checked out Kendrick music, you know we've checked out J. Cole music, and you know we've checked out Drake music, Kanye music, Lil Wayne, all these individuals. Right. But particularly on the Drake side of things, we've checked out damn near every single album on this channel since we started yeah or whatnot i think right. the first drake album we checked out was scorpion if i'm not mistaken <clears throat> i think that was the yeah. first that was right scorpion. around the push of tv yeah. scorpion. so that was the first album we checked out so if you've been subscribed for that long or however long every time we checked out a drake album if you felt that way initially if you just knew just secretly or you heard rumors then why would you have supported but it's not until someone that you like says something now it's all you got to do. Oh, yeah, I knew he was on that type of time. But y'all y'all listen to him. Y'all support him. Oh, nah. You know, I can't rock with y'all. And that's fine if you want to have that, that moral high ground. But at the end of the day, then you got to have that moral high ground on a lot of other things, too. You got to stand on that type of, that side of the fence on a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So if you sit up there and say, for example, we were watching wrestling when Vince was still in charge. If that's the case, then you shouldn't have been watching us either. Because Vince had been accused of a lot of wild shit, and we were still checking it out. And the rest ain't even came out yet. <laughs> so and the rest hadn't even came out yet. So if we're gonna go with this, there's a lot of things that y'all support, that y'all wear, that y'all rock, that the company behind it has done some wild shit. All you gotta do is Google it. But guess what? You're not gonna do it because it doesn't immediately affect you. Mm -hmm. and that's the problem that I'm having with some of the fans here is they're having this more high ground on both sides. And it's like, that's why you're only it. doing this because your favorite artist said something or you don't like that artist. So now it has to be true. Now I'm a, well, what about that video? That's not enough evidence for me to just condemn somebody on one side. Well, what about these instances and in that instance? Bro, I'm not even about to dive into every little my minute detail of what drake has done in the past because all of a sudden now this is just all popping up and there has to be some truth that, to it that's what i'm saying bro that's why i said the edge because he has to respond now with the hard part six in a way just refuting claims because nigga, even though to me i wouldn't i would have ignored it and i would have still been dropping some i mean even, i would have still did a hard part six just not mm -hmm. defensively just straight ball rapping but he was so it's I don't know if I can know. But all I know is the fans kind of ruined it towards the end. And at the end, like I said, bro, both dudes did their thing. Uh, both of them, yeah. uh, hella talented. One and yeah. two, two and one, whichever way you want to put it, they're going to go down as the best that ever did it. And it's going to be down, go down as one of the best beefs that we've seen in, in our, probably our time, you know, yeah. since this is our generation. So let us know what y'all think, man. I'm um, yeah. definitely interested to see the comments. Bro, just be unbiased, bro. We, we got one for hip hop. Whether you like Drake or dislike Drake, whether you love Kendrick or dislike Kendrick, you got some more heat from both sides. Why mm -hmm. Why are you even mad right now? And at the end of the day, don't ever forget, you're not getting paid for this shit. Stop mm -hmm. arguing with niggas. Don't raise your blood pressure versus somebody else when you're not, not a cent is going into your bank account over who's winning. Say what you feel, say who your opinion is on who you've been rocking with, why. Leave it at that, bro. To go mm -hmm. back and forth with people, to argue with people, to say you're not gonna support people no more because y'all listening to this person. Like now we taking it too far, bro. We ruining the fun of it. Kendrick fucking wild out, bro. Let's enjoy the shit because he don't be dropping like that. Mm -hmm. And let's embrace what's happening. And hopefully he is dropping an album this year. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, fam. Like all this. Oh yeah, yeah y'all. You're just buying. like, bro. Quit all that bullshit, man. Let's enjoy the music and let's just have fun and just. Be grateful that hip hop is getting the note, the the boom and boost that it is right now. Cause I ain't been hearing them talk about nothing else right now. Yeah, you got the finals was, going on. This has been the most talked mm -hmm. about thing all week. Yeah, that's, so that should that should be where we all agree. Mm -hmm. Let's stop with this shit. Oh, I ain't gonna support you. You come on, fam. That's, we we ain't trying to get into that, bro. But again, we love you guys. Uh, so this is our answer on where we feel like. Uh, it ends if it ends today. Mm -hmm. Now, real quick question before we get about here: If Drake does drop again, or if they both drop again, or if Kendrick drop again, do you think? Because I, I, I think it should just end right now. Honestly, 
I'm kind of over the whole thing. I but... would like for Drake to drop one more, but on some finality shit and just really just go at Kendrick, not even about anything else, just really go at him. But if he doesn't, you okay, can do when, right here. when would you drop it and then what would your score be around that, that time? Shit, I shit, I would have I dropped that shit. Honestly, because you can tell that he dropped this one relatively soon. Um I'd probably drop it sometime this week. Mm. I would drop it sometime this week. Okay. Like on some nah, y'all thought that was it. No, I got one more thing to say. You know what I'm saying? I would drop it this week. Cause even if even if Drake dropped it this week, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick still has him a bop. Kendrick yes. can end it right here and still doesn't have to say yeah. he don't have to say nothing else unless whatever Drake says it overshadows and it would have to be a hit and that it's would a be hit. The, yeah it would that would be the only way kendrick would need to somewhat respond if it overshadowed it but if drake doesn't drop anything then you can go ahead and in here if he does at least one more and then that'd be it but honestly i wouldn't trip either way they can yeah. they can finally end it at this point because i think we got a decent amount of music from both guys we something did. that we can obviously sink our teeth into for a very very long time so yeah 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 it's gonna be something that people are gonna be talking about for quite some time a minute and i feel like more more tracks and um it's just more more music for more people can come out of it can stem from this because more yeah. names were dropped more speculations uh were out there so i mean it, it just it's a good start for 2024 even though it's been rocking for a while with some dope uh projects so mm -hmm. I'm here to see what happens for the rest of the year. Let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. Let's just agree that we enjoying what's happening for hip hop right now, regardless sure. of whose side you want. So who y'all got winning? What did y'all think? Uh, let us know, start a conversation. Always spread love, be love. Don't take it that serious. Love you guys. Please. Peace. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me